So the portal between New York City and Dublin is actually a live stream where onlookers from one side of the world can see the other onlookers from the other side and exchange video imagery. Now, despite the fact that overwhelmingly the image was wholesome, the mainstream media has to focus on a couple of events. And what I have noticed is that while art is subjective and you will have progressives die on that hill defending this and saying that even a banana slapped to a whirl is art and it's worthy probably $50,000 of it, all art is subjective, but offense is objective. Even when you see that not everyone gets offended, and we're going to go that into a little bit. No, offense is objective, and of course, the mainstream media, left-leaning people, are the ones that get to decide what is offensive and what isn't. Now, now in this situation, I, I have looked on Twitter and on many other forums, and I found that most people were laughing, that they were taking the joke for what it is, a joke. And the humor isn't in the tragedy, which the leftists can't seem to comprehend. The humor is in the audacity that someone from Ireland thought about doing something like this. Like, like they were a cheeky little shit and, and, and they pulled something like this. That is the funny thing, right? Like the audacity that someone displayed. But anyway, right, apparently this was over the pale. I again, most people on the internet seem to be having fun with it because most people are sick and tired of the plastic culture. But most people are sick and tired of the image that every single human being is this nice and decent individual that never gets angry, never does something offensive in their entire life. Uh, and you have, like, all these people from the mainstream media dressed in suits, and, you know, all these politicians dressed in suits, and they always talk calmly, they don't show a, an ounce of emotion, and apparently that's what normal human beings are. But then you go out in the world and you meet with your friends and buddies and you realize, well, no, actually human beings have a wide variety of emotions. From, from things that are wholesome in nature, uh, to compassion, to empathy, to also things like shitposting, uh, being cheeky little shits, so on and so forth. So, you know, like, th this was one of the reasons that I think people were laughing is because they see something genuine. They, they unironically see something that... It's not politically correct, it is disrespectful, but it's also hilarious due to the way it is done, right? Like, they, they use this art piece, they use this public thing in order to do it, and that's why it was hilarious. Uh, now, there were other people that did other things, like, for example, uh, mooning at the portal or showing tits. Uh, so there was this influencer which lifted her shirt up, I can't show it on YouTube for obvious reasons, but she lifts her shirt up and she shows it to the people on the other side. Now, the mainstream media, again, is telling me what to think. And it's like, oh, this lady was flashing the people on the other side who were stunned as they were looking at it. And I'm looking at it and they didn't seem stunned. They seemed bored as fuck. Like, they just whooped up their smartphones and they started filming. But, like, no one was averting their gaze or, or being stunned or anything like that. But again, the mainstream media was acting like the sky is falling, that, um, you know, you can't show tits outside of an LGBT rally, which is something that I agree. Yeah, like, this is why the actual thing was closed. It's because it was breaking the law. So so let's talk a little bit about breaking the law. Now, now I don't know how it's like in New York, um, but here in Europe, we do have these things called indecent exposure. And while technically the person didn't violate the law of Ireland because she was in New York while she was indecently exposed, the people that set up the live stream are responsible for what the live stream has, believe it or not. Like, like yeah, it's, it's how the law works, right? Like, if you put a, a big TV in public and you're showing nudity there... Um, yeah, you, you are breaking a couple of laws, right? Because there's children. And again, unless it's an LGBT parade, you're, you're not supposed to, to show the nipple. So because of this is why they had to shut down the thing. Um, and it wasn't just like a lady showing tits. That there were other people that were mooning. Apparently, uh, an individual was accused of doing something which seemed to be like doing drugs. Now, now that wouldn't be illegal in itself, but like... It's definitely not family friendly, let's put it like this, right? So, like, just having a, an unfiltered live stream 
in a public place where children can can walk up to and and you have like all these people doing this vile imagery yeah it's no surprise that it was shut down but the people reporting on it like the mainstream media reporting on it isn't reporting it from this angle and saying well i mean it, it was brushing against the law so they have to shut it down no they're acting like the sky is falling they're acting like oh dios mio look look what's happening oh and, and it's like dude, I, it's 2024 like surely surely there are other things that are worse like, like, like surely there, there are other things that are more concerning oh this man oh he, he he had the swastika on his phone and he showed it to the people and it's like okay so it's just like the internet then it's, it's just like shit posting wow I, i've never seen that before in my entire life that is unthinkable. Oh, so grotesque. I, I I am so glad they managed to stop it before they would have created some, some political movement in Ireland or something due to the imagery, right? Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, no, like, like the, the thing that I'm upset is that this actually unironically looked like modern art that I personally liked. Like, it, it's such a cool thing. It's like, okay, well, we have this technology, so we're going to, to make this portal between New York and Ireland, that you can see each other. And it, it was kind of cool, you know? It, it, I mean, obviously, you can do it at home, you know? In fact, you can do it on your smartphone. Like, it's not, it's not break-taking technology. But but the art in itself is interesting. Like, the exhibit in itself is interesting. And, and, and apparently, it, it just can't be allowed to exist. Again, I, I do understand the ramifications, the, the legal ramifications, right? I, I'm pretty sure, like, if this was inside a building and uh, like kids weren't allowed to enter that then all of that should have been fine um but yeah you know with, with like a disclosure that we're not responsible for what the people on the other side do blah 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 like that would have been fine but but if it's literally in public like it, it's actually on the street and you can see people acting in a decent manner especially where families are going. Yeah, I, I, I definitely understand why it had to be shut down. So the event organizers are trying to figure out ways to bring it back. Apparently, blurring it doesn't work. Um, I, I don't really know what they can do due to the fact that it's a live stream. Like, anyone can act unpredictable. So, especially when you have, like, different legislations. Again, I, I don't know what the law in New York is for nudity or, or to show, like, nudity in public on a big screen. So you, you got to look into that. I, I'm pretty sure in Ireland is illegal. So yeah, they, they definitely have to figure out how to go around these legal ramifications. But let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.